My age is 86, and my full name is Susan Horn. I was born in Transylvania. The village was called Weilau. Why did you move to Canada? We left because of the war. We were concerned if the Russian army would have taken us, they would have sent us to Siberia for, for good and we couldn't have, we wouldn't have had a chance to get away from there. And that was why we packed up what, with the uh, horses and wagons, yeah. and that's we did hardly took anything along. It was it was just you and your your mom that came over. Yes, my my grandfather was there. He was close to ninety years old, and the sad part was, we thought we would go back soon, and grandfather said go, and then they come back, and then. The, the people that are living here will not take away everything out of the house. But it didn't happen. We didn't go back. And my grandfather died there of loneliness and hunger. Uh, do you ever, do you ever regret leaving? No. And I never went back to see the place. I. I wanted to remember it the way it was when we lived there. I didn't want to see it afterwards. A lot of my relatives or friends, they'd go back and see it and they told me how much it changed, so I wanted the memories the way it had been before. How do you, how'd you travel over here? Like, what was your journey like? We, we went by train from Austria to Germany. I can't remember how long it took us. And then when we came with the boat, we were 26 days on the, we had a stormy journey. It was very stormy. We weren't sure if we would make it over because that's, it was so stormy and the food wasn't the greatest either. It was complicated, it was not pleasant. It was not a luxurious boat. It was a freighter. A freighter is not very comfortable. We arrived here on Christmas Eve. It was extremely cold and extremely cold. And when we came to the farm, I couldn't believe that it was so far out out of town. I, I, I was very surprised, but it was a pleasant place to live. As we stayed at my uncle's place for a while, and we were very comfortable to be with family again. I was very homesick. I didn't want to admit it, but I was very homesick because I felt to get used to a different country is, um, well, it's a challenge, that's what it is. But in no time, in a few years, I felt totally at home and... On the boat, did you, did I you mean, stay like connected with them yes, after? Yes, yes. Interesting. One of the girls was uh, my bridesmaid, one of the bridesmaids and I'm still in contact with her. She even called me for my birthday. <laughs> Um, we had a young people's group, they were all refugees 
and we met in his uncle's place. We were about, say, maybe 20 young people, and that's how we met. First, when we were married, we bought the first house in about in two years after we were married, approximately. And then after that, we sold the place and bought a bigger place, which was to our advantage. We were able to build an extra place and then sold the, the first place. And that's how we were able to, since uh, Opa worked in a place where it was very, very hard, uh, hard work, he made an effort to, and so we were able to save and accumulate as much as that we needed for our family. And then we had one child and after that we had, after five years, we had another child. After the second child, we had a girl. I was very excited once I found out that it was a girl because I always wanted a girl. had your uh, 86th birthday? 86th birthday, yes. And when you like look back on your travel, your life? I was very fortunate, even though I had some illnesses and the sad part of losing my spouse was a difficult time. But on the other hand, I considered myself very blessed that I have children near me and I know I love them a lot and they do love me so it's, it's precious to know that you belong with your family. I'm very grateful I have two special granddaughters and a grandson. The ones would appreciate me and I appreciate them and I'm grateful for having a daughter and son-in-law and the son and the daughter-in-law that care for me and are always available if I need.